So today's video is gonna be all about personal statements. Basically, it's what, 4,000 characters about yourself. That's about 500-ish words, really not a lot of words to get across your entire life story and why they should pick you. I kind of tailored my personal statement very much towards the Oxbridge style and what they wanted to do. So therefore, my advice is kind of from that angle but it doesn't mean it might necessarily work for you. You guys need to make that decision for yourselves, but worked for me. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's dive straight into part A. My first point under this heading is all about super curricular engagement. I had no idea what that term meant and it's not, whoa, don't make this mistake. It is not the same as extracurricular. Supercurricular engagement is all about doing extra reading, t undertaking projects, entering essay competitions, this kind of stuff, but all in a manner which is linked to the subject which you're applying for. The kind of main idea is you want to show your admissions coordinators that you absolutely are passionate beyond belief about the subject that you want to apply for. Now for me that was pretty easy because I've known I've wanted to study law probably since I was like 10. I mean, think about this from the university's point of view. When they read through these thousands of applications and these thousands of personal statements, and they're thinking about who they're gonna accept, tutors, they wanna hear about how much students love their subject. I don't know, they want students that are gonna smile at them when they find out something new. They want students that like are gonna do the mind blown emoji. Admissions tutors want passionate students. This is where it comes down to. So let me give you some examples of things I did super curricularly. I had like a whole log in Word. Number one, directed reading. So I remember I read um, The Rule of Law, which is a book by Tom Bingham, a former law lord and Supreme Court judge. On to my second point, if you can undertake some kind of project like the EPQ, Extended Project, qualification, I was able to include so much stuff about um, international law and diplomatic immunity, which was what my EPQ was all about. And it really helped me show that I was interested in international law, which I'm going to be taking next year. Oh, so excited. Honestly, gassed for that. Thirdly, um, look around. There's so many opportunities out there for free. I undertook an essay competition run by the John Locke Institute and entry was free and they have essay questions you can do based on all the different subjects you might be applying for so obviously I did a legal question about the um what did I do on presumption of innocence I personally I like I had so much fun doing that I learned so much allow me to show in my personal statement that I'm really interested in criminal law like guys the options are endless and it like I know these are all from a legal angle but whether you do history, whether you do maths, whether you do natural sciences. There are super curricular opportunities out there for you. Go out there and grab them. So just to round off this section, I have a few resources for you if you fancy getting right underway with that super curricular engagement. They're kind of general resources. So firstly, we have Oxplore, which is kind of a platform which gives you big big kind of ethical questions and you can read through it and it gives you different perspectives um i think i've they have stuff about the death penalty they have stuff about presumption of innocence they have theological questions so much stuff then you have got mooc.org ted talks obviously you guys know what ted talks are the John Locke Institute, like I said, that's where I did my essay competition. They also do various summer schools. So part B, actually you've done all the bits out there. You've done your super curricular engagement. Now you need to get down to business and start writing that personal statement. So I cracked out my own personal statement and I have got a bit of a structure plan for you guys and I've kind of laid out how much percentage-wise I spent on each component. So there were five paragraphs in my personal statement. The first of them 
was a general introduction and I could kind of summarize this basically by I just wrote why I found law so fascinating, where my personal experiences link into why I am so interested in justice as a concept um, and I just really wanted to get across that, you know, law was the subject for me. I've wanted to study it since I was 10. My second paragraph, by far actually the longest paragraph, was all about my supercurricular engagement. So I remember I split this paragraph into two. There were two areas of law which I was particularly interested in at that stage. I kind of focused half of the paragraph on criminal law and why I was so interested in criminal law. Like I said, I did that essay competition on the presumption of innocence. I kind of talked about the debates in criminal law, especially the presumption of innocence. And I kind of asked questions of myself and I, I made it very evaluative. For me, I felt it was quite important to show that I had thought about these big questions and I had an opinion, but also that I recognized the other side of the debate. I just really wanted to make it as essay-like as possible in terms of being evaluative, evaluative and making my own judgment. Um, and then the second half of this paragraph I went into international law. Um, maybe a good rule of thumb, if you want to follow my advice, which doesn't mean anything, is if you have two or three specific areas of the subject you're applying for, maybe for theology you'd be like, um, I'm really interested in Christian theology, but I'm also fascinated by ethics. Don't list about 5,000 different parts of the subject you were particularly interested in. Really go for less and go into more detail and more evaluative writing for each one. Figure out what, what makes you tick and put it in there. Show your passion. And by showing this evaluative and critical engagement with these topics and these subjects, you are gonna impress so my third section was all about my A-levels. Um, I kind of spoke about A-level law kind of got tied into the supercurricular activities because it ties very neatly into my degree, obviously. However, I did need to explain the link between politics and maths and law, which were my other A-level subjects. So I kind of said for politics, you know, you learn all about the government, you learn how the government works. And then with maths, I was kind of like, well, the problem solving element of maths really ties into the problem solving element in law when you under when you undertake problem questions or even in practice when you have clients come to you with problems you need to have those problem solving skills my fourth and penultimate um, paragraph i think the shortest paragraph of all was about my extracurricular engagement so i don't know this is where you throw in stuff about i ran a marathon for a charity these kind of things and they'll love to hear them they just don't want it to take away from the passion that you're showing for your subject and finally I kind of wrote a little conclusion and I mean it was really short of 70 words that's really not a lot of words but I kind of jam-packed all my passion and anticipation and excitement to study law at Cambridge and any university into this paragraph and I kind of spoke about why law is just so unbelievably amazing how it touches every part of society how it absolutely is a tool for change probably even more so than politics in some some cases i think it's quite important somewhere in your statement either in the conclusion or the introduction to acknowledge that studying law or studying at any university isn't going to be easy it's going to be a challenge you need to acknowledge the challenge but then for sure say look i'm looking forward to that challenge i know it's not going to be easy but I want to grow. I want to I want to learn. So let me just run you guys through the ratio of that structure so you can see how I allocated my words. The introduction was about 20% of the statement, then the supercurricular engagement by far the biggest paragraph took over 50% of the entire statement. My A level paragraph took 10%, my extracurricular paragraph took another 10% and my conclusion took a further 10%. So woohoo! That is Part B in the bag. Now we're on to the final bit. I know the video is nearly over, guys. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, next step. So, according to the UCAS website, it's deadline for Oxbridge applications is the 16th of October 2023. So, obviously, you need to have your personal statement wrapped up and ready before that date. Um, so, just make sure you meet the deadline. Also, before you get that application in if you're studying law you are going to need 
to get an LNAP booked in, Law National Aptitude Test, that's the admissions test. And if you're studying medicine or many other degrees, there's entrance exams for those too, especially at Cambridge. So make sure if you need to get those booked in, get those done. Finally, just for those of you applying to Cambridge, a, a par a, about a week, uh, within a week after you submit your application, you have to submit a further special application specifically for Cambridge called My Cambridge Application. In there, you have to fill in various information about your A-levels and your GCSE certificates, and I think you have to provide ID. I'm just going back from what I can remember. And then back in what my day was called an SAQ, I think it's called something different now, but it's basically an optional further personal statement where you can talk about why specifically you want to come to Cambridge. Definitely, hint, hint, definitely do that. So yeah, that wraps up the bid for today. Um, I guess I can close this off with a bit of a funny story to just reduce your guys' stress level. So I was speaking to my girlfriend the other day. Obviously, um, she goes to Cambridge as well. And I was saying, look, I'm doing this video about personal statements. Um, she's in the year above me. So I was like, do you have any advice you want me to put in the video? And she was like, well, I wrote it in two days before the deadline and sent it in. Guys, if you can write it two days, by the way, don't do, don't. You there thinking about doing that, don't. Don't do it. The point I'm trying to make is, she did it two days before the deadline in a bit of a rush. She got in. You know, this is not a huge stressful thing that it, it doesn't need to be like that. So yeah, that wraps up. I'll just remind you once again, not many people who view my videos subscribe. So can you there subscribe right now? Leave a comment, please, please, please leave loads of comments. I have lots of time nowadays, so I will reply. And yeah, love you guys. As always, stay tuned for another video next week. You guys are truly the best. Yeah, see ya. Stay awesome.